Today, we are going to be looking at a bunch of skins that will probably never be added to Counter-Strike for one reason or another, and a lot of these skins are actually fan favorites, and some of these skins will definitely surprise you because they are a part of really popular collections, and it's pretty disappointing and interesting to think about the fact that they may never be added to the game. Before this video starts, I just wanted to remind you that I am hosting a giveaway at 3,000 subscribers for this AK Aquamarine Revenge in factory new condition, $120 value to enter all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment down below i'll be picking the winner as soon as we hit 3,000 subscribers the first skin that we're going to be looking at today is one of the most popular skins that probably will never be added to the game and that is the ak-47 print stream now this skin is wanted by a ton of different people as you can see right here there are a ton of people voting for this skin to be added to the game and we already have print stream skins in the game so it makes sense for this skin to be added although it is actually not compatible with counter strike 2 which means that it most likely won't be added unless the creator of this skin recreates it for the counter strike 2 models and also not to mention the print stream skins actually don't look good in cs2 now that is not even my personal opinion that is just a fact because in cs2 they made the pearlescent effect pretty much non-existent you can only see it in very very specific lighting and even then it is super toned down the next skin is also in the print stream collection this is the op print stream and i actually like this one more than the AK print stream. Although it seems like it's not as popular, I actually think that this one looks way better. It is super simple and I love the black scope on it. If this can ever get added to the game, I would definitely be buying it. But unfortunately, again, it is not compatible with CS2. And last but not least for the print stream collection, here is the P250 print stream. And again, I actually like this one more than the AK just because it actually does have more color on it. Now I know that the print stream skins are just supposed to be black and white for the most part. That is the main aesthetic of them but the p250 print stream actually has some pearlescent strips that have color on them and it actually adds a lot to the gun now this skin i would be super excited to see in the game but again it looks like this will probably never be added do you want to trade and flip skins without losing money to high fees then gamer pay is the marketplace for you GamerPay is the only trusted CS2 marketplace where you can buy skins with absolutely no fees. This means that you can find the best deals on skins and get the most value for your money at GamerPay. And most skins are listed for less than any other marketplace because of the low selling fees at just 3%. GamerPay is also a great place to trade skins because you can sell your skins and buy new ones without losing money to unnecessary fees. Even better, if you sign up with my link in the description, you can get a free 5 euros when you deposit at least 50. Thank you to GamerPay for sponsoring this video and don't forget to sign up using the link in the description and the pinned comment below to receive a free 5 euros when you deposit at at least 50. The next set of skins are the Cyrex skins, and there is a ton of skins in this collection. As you may know, the M4 Cyrex and the USPS Cyrex are already in the game, and a lot of people really like them. They're pretty nice low tier skins. In my opinion, they're actually some of the best. If you're going for a red loadout, the Cyrex is definitely the way to go in most cases because they just look so nice and they are not overly expensive. Now, of course, we have the AK Cyrex, and this one actually is updated for CS2, but it has been so long since a Cyrex skin has been added into the game. I highly doubt that this one will be added, even though it is updated for CS2. Then we have the Desert Eagle Cyrex, which looks really, really nice. I like how they mixed matte in with gloss. As you can see up on the top, there's that little matte strip up there. I really, really like that about the Cyrex skins. Then the Zeus Cyrex. Now this one is actually really cool because we only have one Zeus skin in the game and it is super flashy colors. It is blue and yellow and gold and all those types of colors with the Zeus Olympus and this skin might actually have been likely to be added if it had more votes but it seems like a lot of people actually don't know about this skin as you can tell there aren't very many votes which is kind of sad so it looks like this skin won't be added to the game anytime soon either then we have the op Cyrex again it just looks kind of like all of the other Cyrexes but I do think that it looks nice I love the matte finish on the handle and you can tell that a lot of detail really went into the skin it looks like the stock is carbon fiber or something like that it looks super super 
super nice. And then last but not least, we have the MP5 Cyrex. Now this is definitely the least likely to be added, although it was the most recently uploaded. So it looks like the creator really wants one of the Cyrex skins to be added into the game. And I would not be opposed to that. I love these Cyrex skins already and another one definitely would not hurt. Moving on, the final collection that we will be looking at in today's video is actually the Inheritance Collection. And this collection seems like the most likely to be added to the game, although I'm not sure because in the very most recent case, the Kilowatt case, there was an Inheritance skin as we all know with the AK Inheritance. So I'm not sure if Valve would actually add in another one anytime soon, although the creator has made a whole collection of Inheritance skins and these all look super nice. The USP Inheritance looks amazing in my opinion. I love how much gold is on this. It seems like there's more gold on this than was on the AK and I actually really like that. Then we have the M4A1S Inheritance. This skin looks really nice, although I definitely don't like how much blue is on it. This is my least favorite out of the Inheritance collection because there is just so much blue up towards the front. It kind of takes away from the design. In my opinion, I definitely would have rather had the AK over this one, so I'm glad that is how it worked out. Next up, we have the UMP45 Inheritance. Now this one does look pretty nice, but it is on a underwhelming skin. I pretty much never use the UMP45 in game, and I am only about 12k rating in Premiere, so you would think that if anyone would use it, it would be the lower ranks, but I pretty much never use this weapon, so if this skin got added, I would not be too excited, especially since I already used to own a AK Inheritance. I would much rather just use that over the UMP. Now moving on to the final two of the Inheritance collection, my personal favorites. This is the HE Grenade Inheritance, and as you can tell, the creator of this collection actually put the skin on the HE Grenade. Now this, in my opinion, looks amazing, and I'm super excited to see if Valve actually does add grenade skins. It would be really cool to have flashbang, grenade, and smoke skins, maybe even molotov skins. I can think of some good ideas for some molotov skins. And this is just one of my favorite ideas in the whole entire video because it is just so creative and it definitely pushes the limits of CS2's new engine. Last but not least, we have the op inheritance. Now this is my absolute favorite one. I almost wish that this was added instead of the AK because it just looks so elegant. And I love how these scope is actually cloudy. It makes it fit in with these skins so much more and I didn't even know that that is something that you could do. This skin in my opinion looks amazing and if there were any skins added from this video, I would definitely want it to be either this one or the HE grenade skin. I personally love the inheritance collection. I know a lot of people definitely don't like it. It seems like one of those collections where you either love it or hate it and I personally love it. Definitely make sure to let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about all of these skins in this video and I also want to hear your guys' opinions on the inheritance collection let me know which skin from this video you want to see in game the most by the way guys we now have a discord where i am doing a ton of giveaways the most recent giveaway winner was actually just picked last week and i will be doing a new giveaway next week so if that is something that you are interested in definitely make sure to join the link will be down in the description below it is also just a really cool place to hang out and talk with like-minded people and also stay in the know about news relating to cs2 as i post most of the stuff that i make videos about in the discord before Beforehand. Also, YouTube tells me that up to 90% of people watching this video right now are not subscribed. So if you just checked and you aren't, please make sure to hit that sub button and click the bell so that you never miss another upload. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video. It really means the world to me and I'll see you in the next one.